to me, Liquid in Digits is uh, just like any other dance and art form. It's modern. It represents the electronic music culture. It's, it's beautiful. Nothing really to explain Liquid. It, it accents electronic music so well with the continuity between the beats and the way Liquid flows or the way digits can flow. It's That's just what it does. It, complements techno very well. Well, what I first started doing, um, actually I started glow sticking. I didn't start with Liquid and Digits. I didn't even know about Liquid and Digits. I started actually, on a bad note, I started because of drug culture and one of my friends actually showed me glow sticking and I just thought it was the coolest thing. So. When I didn't have glow sticks, I would practice with my hands, and I was like, wow, this, is, this has got to be something. I, there, there has to be something to this. This has to have a name. So I did a lot of research online, and uh, what I discovered was the shut up and dance boards, the sad boards. I don't know if any of you guys were around for that, but I learned a lot about all dance styles from that board. I mean, I learned about popping, house stepping, liquid, and through that board, I discovered uh, the reflective board. And I learned about um, all the, the OGs on that site, Code Red, Liquid Pop Eric, and through watching clips and hours and hours of practice, I learned Liquid. And then picked up Digits maybe two or three years later. I, I never really seen Digits until maybe 2002, 2003, um, through a guy named Mental Assembly, who was also on the reflective board. Um, I also pop, I didn't pick up pop until about three years ago, which uh, I don't even know how I picked up popping, it's probably the same way every liquid head picks up popping, through going out to any dance event you can, no matter what it is, whether it's liquid, whether it's popping, locking, just anything to see people dance, that's how I sort of picked up popping, and clips, as everyone else does, that's pretty much how I learned to dance. Well, when I first started, uh, I, I just copied my friend. I mimicked my friend with the glow sticking. But when I discovered all the other styles, I like would go look at a clip on the sad board. For instance, the uh, there was a trace clip on that board. I don't know if anyone remembers that. But I would run downstairs to my computer, watch that clip, go upstairs to my mirror, and try the move as many times until I could get it absolutely perfect. And then that, that really taught me a lot about foundation and how the moves were performed. And then that allowed me, once I learned it, and through repetition, I would get so comfortable with a certain move that I would start to play with it and alter it to make it my own. And then after a while, you drop old moves, pick up new moves that you create, and it just that's what sort of formed my style. Um, other techniques that I've used were uh, to pick up isolations, I learned a technique that was taught to him through Jared. It's not actually like numbering fingers, but well, I guess it is kind of numbering fingers where you use like one, three, two, and four and just keep repeating. And, and that, that was a really big helper in aiding my isolations on digits. I still do it to this day. Um, with Liquid, I just practice really, really slow and really, really tense to get the moves very defined. That's, I mean, and that's how I dance, is I dance very tense and try to define my liquid very well. So, to get my rails like real rigid looking. Uh, my popping, I'm a bad popper. <laughs> no, um, my popping guy just Fresno until I feel something else and just go with it from there. And nothing really too special though. I would say the biggest way dancing affected my life, I, I've gone through so many weight changes because of my dance habits. When I first started dancing, I was in high school and I probably about 180 pounds. And uh, through, when, as soon as I started practicing, I never stopped. I'd practice and practice. And, you know, when you first start out, you, you jump around a lot, you don't really know what's going on. So I would be jumping around for hours and I just drop like I was down to 150 within like three months or something um, so 
aside from that, uh, dancing's taught me a lot about about discipline and dedication towards anything. I mean, I showed it showed me like that I dedicated myself to liquid, and I learned it, and that really shows me that you can learn anything as this if you try hard enough. Because I couldn't liquid for the life of me when I started. Now I do okay. Actually, I think dance has actually helped me. Well, my character of who I am. I'm a very light person. I like. I'm very relaxed. I try to keep all things in my life stress-free, and that comes out in my dance a lot. Like in my facial expressions, just the way I. When I do liquid, I try to keep it happy. I try to. Like a lot of like people who do digits or liquid, they keep like a very serious face. And, uh, for reference, like Liquid Pop Eric has a very evil look when he dances, but me, I keep a very light look. I mean, I try to smile a lot and interact with the crowd a little bit and keep everything nice and happy. That's how my life sort of reflects my dance.